What is going on everybody, Zonic here, and in today's video, we're going to be seeing if Medicham can make a comeback. If the fall from grace wasn't as bad as we thought. In recent past, we have seen updates to Psychic, uh, nerfing it basically. Uh, so Medicham basically fell down the listings. We also saw buffs to Pokemon like Poliwrath, Annihilate, and Vigoroth, all of which are top contenders in the Open Great League as the fighters or uh, pseudo fighters, and especially in the Play Pokemon Tournament series. But Medicham has been gone. Medicham has been an afterthought. Trainers are opting to not use this powerful Pokemon, and today, we're going to see if it's still capable of dominating the Great League meta. These battles are submitted by pay to win 69 very interesting name there, with a Lantern Anchor and a Sableye Safe Swap. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's see what this team is made of. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, getting into the first battle here. This looks to be done at the 24, 2500 ELO range, and we do see a Mantine here on the lead. So not a great lead. They're going to look to go into the Sableye right away to start getting ahead on energy, and we will see a charge attack come through. This might be Bubble Beam. You always got to uh, be fearful of shielding that, but it's actually going to be what I think was an Aerial Ace right there, and we do see a Reggie still swapping. Now, this is a great opportunity to remind you just how good a Sableye is in the open Great League. Its ability to consistently put out neutral pressure across a lot of the meta and having access to Shadow Claws, the fast move, is very powerful, especially in a matchup against Reggie Steel, where the Zap Cannon is no longer a guaranteed debuff. It's a 50% chance, and this allows Sableye to potentially flip this mid game matchup as it has so much energy and Shadow Claw is going to be relentless. Reggie Steel, unfortunately, just won't be able able to outpace the Shadow Claw foul play combination here as Sableye is able to get to the third or fourth foul play right there. Able to get two shields as well and can easily shield this next charge move and go for the aggressive fast move farm down which is what we're likely going to be seeing here. I believe they just got debuffed right there from Zap Cannon but they're still able to get it so Sableye comes out with switch advantage. All shields gone and it has max energy and we will see the Mantine come back in. Now they're looking to go for foul plays here. Able to throw two. I don't think they'll be able to get to three. Uh, ooh, they no, they won't. Um, double foul play here is still going to do a great amount of damage, and they were able to get switch advantage, which is going to allow them to align the lantern here to Mantine, which is an extremely hard wall, and we will see the swap out now into a Shadow Whizcash and a Metacham. This is once again a power-up punch Metacham, which can be overwhelming for Pokemon who can't stop it right away, but Shadow Scald as well is nothing to laugh at. It's incredibly powerful in the open Great League, and uh, it didn't get any nerfs with the new season, so it is still extremely dominant here as Wizcash is looking to go for another charge move, but they unfortunately don't get the Ice Punch in time. Wizcash, though, has access to Mud Bomb, so Lantern needs to be very careful and is going to have to get rid of it very quickly. Switch Clock isn't up just yet, but they got to, ooh, after this Mud Bomb, Switch Clock might be coming up, so they got to be careful about a potential charge move catch from their opponent. They decide to go for the Surf right away, and this is obviously going to be taking out the Shadow Whizcash now as all shields are down. Mantine has no hope, and that is going to be a good game, very well played. We started off this video talking about Metacham and its comeback, but ultimately Sableye is here to remind us that it has returned, and it is still strong. All right, good game. This looks to be a straight set as well, so we'll have to see um, what they come out with in this uh, in these uh, set of battles as we go ahead and get into the queue here. Again, 2466 is the ELO range. Uh, this was likely done, well, this is obviously done during this week's rotation, and being at or around veteran is a very strong ELO range and a very tough um, competitive scene in that area as we will see the uh, the battle here shortly as we get into the next one. We have Medicham versus Wigglytuff. All right, what do they do? I'm going to guess they stay in and just look to go for power up punch and just spam. They're going to go ahead and build up to the psychic and the opponent swaps out. Interesting. Okay, so the opponent swapping out um, is a read by them that maybe their core broken. That is something to know. Why, why would 
the opponents swap out of a clearly a positive matchup and it's because they are reading that maybe the Wigglytuff does well against the backline and sure enough it does against Sableye can do well against Lantern is they're going to go ahead and let the Surf go through. Now, Sableye right here is in a great position to get themselves Shield Advantage or Switch. This is going to be critical here for this matchup as the return, boom, does land. They wouldn't get Switch Advantage, sorry. They'd get uh, even Shields, and they do get the Foul Play at the last second. This isn't going to do that much damage, uh, but thankfully, Foul Play is going to be just enough to apply pressure here where Metacham's Ice Punches, the back-to-back, -back, or even the Power Up Punch, could be lethal, as we will see them come in with Lantern and look to load up on energy. Now, this is all going to come down to what is the final Pokemon in the back, and if I had to take a guess with the Wigglytuff lead, it's going to be something weak to counter, and it's not. It's going to be a Hakamo'o here, and Metacham with Power Up Punch and Ice Punch could be a devastating combination as the opponent decided to no shield. They're going to go for another Power Up Punch here, and if they get two shields, we are about to see the Metacham Ice Punch, and they do! It's going to be a race to the ice punch now and they get to it in time here comes the most satisfying boom of this video Boom! oh i just got robbed that did not do enough damage and unfortunately we are going to be seeing hakamo hang on Wow, double power up punch boost and ice punch was not enough. They're going for the aggressive farm down. Lantern has tons of energy. Double surf. No, Thunderbolt is going to be able to KO here. It's, it depended on how much health they were at, right? I thought they were more towards 50% HP. But Thunderbolt able to take him out. And that is going to be a good game. Very well played. All right. So for all of you down in the comments saying, what do they do against a Charmer? Well, that is exactly what they do. Now, had this played out differently, right? If the Wigglytuff stayed in, what we would have likely saw is the Ice Punch spam there against Wigglytuff to get it low, and then the aggressive farm down with Lantern. Would it have been a different game? Yes, but that it is what it is, as we do see Skarmory now on the lead. Metacham can still do decent, but they decide to swap into Sableye right away, and they draw out a Shiftry. This is a throwback to 29, uh, 2020, I should say, with uh, Caleb Pang's Skarmory double grass here, as the return is looking to land, and it doesn't. Shiftry looking to overload on energy. Shiftry is an absolute deadly Pokemon, everyone. Snarl, Leaf Blade, and Foul Play, incredibly spammy and very tough to handle if you can't hard counter it but thankfully metacham can with the fast move of counter they just got to be careful about how much damage they will take from these leaf blades as they decide to uh to now come back in with metacham after the switch clock has gone down they got themselves shield advantage which is obviously going to be pivotal for this matchup as they decide to give up a shield here on leaf blade could be hurricane as well no, it is going to be Leaf Blade. You got to watch out for those Hurricanes, as here comes another one. This is why Shift Tree is so, so spammy. They're going to go ahead and throw the second one here, and it will land for quite a bit of damage. But Metacham is able to get to the farm down, and we do see the Skarmory come back in. So they're going to go ahead and overload on Energy, and then look to... Uh, okay, they haven't thrown any charge moves yet. I think they are at max Energy here, and we're probably going to see a Power Up Punch spam. As, uh, yeah, here comes the power up punch spam. They're just gonna unleash. And this is gonna ramp up. This is all damage that is building up over time as they now go for another one. And the opponent swapped out. I don't know what they swapped out into. Um, let's see here. It is going to be another meta jam. Okay, so we do have a double Metacham matchup here, something I was not expecting in the Open Great League, considering all the buffs and debuffs that we have seen, but unfortunately here, for pay to win 69, I don't think they swiped their credit card hard enough, because Lantern is unfortunately gonna get, uh, probably taken down here by Metacham if it has access to Psychic, Dynamic Punch, Double Charge move there is going to be very deadly, but let's see if it can hang on. One Psychic, oh, actually Psychic was not enough damage, and this is where Metacham might have the fall from grace that we were talking about because if Lantern can survive this next Psychic and spark down, the tables will be turning. Lantern able to go for the Surf here against the Skarmory. 
this is, oh, this is so crucial for this game. They're going to be shielding. They're going to have to go for Thunderbolt, but unfortunately, Skarmory is able to get to the Sky Attack, and that is going to seal the deal. Credit card was declined, and the battery was declined as well. That is going to be a good game. Very well played. Uh, do it live here is what, what I always love to do. Good battle. All right. <laughs> Moving into the next one, we have Metacham on the lead versus Defense Form Deoxys, a classic showdown of the psychic fighters of the Great League meta as they're looking to go for power up punch right away. This is once again ramp up damage. We'll have to see what Pokemon the uh, the opposing battler is utilizing because Sableye is really wanting to align to the defense form Deoxys if they can and they're going to go ahead and look to give up the first shield of this game as it is going to be the Thunderbolt there. Now they're going to look to go for ice punches. Going to do a great amount of neutral damage especially with the power up punch boost as the attack was raised as they decide to no shield and now this is a great position to be in especially if they are weak in the back to counter and they are going double shields in with Metacham, anticipating the weakness to fighting type Pokemon, and we do see a Shadow Dragonair come in, and this is where they could potentially get the Power Up Punch Bait Ice Punch combination, as the opponent still has shields remaining. They do give up one, and now they're going to go for the Ice Punch, but unfortunately, Metacham is going to be going down here to the Body Slam from the Shadow Dragonair, as it will be enough to KO Sableye, Lantern, are the only Pokemon remaining and Sableye has to now put in work as they look to go for the aggressive farm down. They're going to have to tank an Aqua Tail right here. It's going to do a good amount of neutral damage, especially with the damage boost from this recent season. And Sableye barely able to hang on as they have a double foul player, near double foul play ready to go. Let's see what comes in. It's going to be a Talon Flame, and they're going to go ahead and go for the return. This is the perfect charge move to be throwing in this situation, as it will either land or get the shield. And now Lantern has the opportunity to sweep. Talon Flame is not going to be cooking in this battle, as Lantern is just going to be able to safely load up on energy and go for back-to-back -back Surf. One is going to be taking out Talonflame. The next is going to be getting rid of Defense Form Deoxys. And this is going to be a good game. Very well played as the Surf. Yeah, the Surf is going to be enough. And unfortunately for the opponent, Defense Form Deoxys just doesn't have enough remaining health or energy. Good battle. All right. Moving into the next one. So far, so good. This team is putting in some work. We obviously saw a little speed bump there with the Wigglytuff Skarmory combination. Wigglytuff, what was it? Wigglytuff Skarmory. Um, not sure what the other Pokemon was. Um, was it Metacham? It might have been Metacham combination. As we uh, we move into the next battle here. All right, we have Metacham on the lead versus Shadow Gligar. Okay, interesting lead right here. They will be able to do super effective damage with Ice Punch as the opponent is uh, looking to stay in as well as both trainers here are going to be able to do a lot of damage to each other. Aerial Ace and Ice Punch are the charge moves to be looking out for, but we have a shield baiting opportunity with Power Up Punch. And this is where things get deadly and things get powerful for Metacham as the Power Up Punch is going to be shielded, and they're going to be able to overload on energy, and they're going to go deep into shields. They want to click it. No, they're going to let it go. Dig, not going to be enough to KO. They get the Ice Punch off, able to hang on. I'm not sure why they went for the dig. Was Aerial Ace going to do more damage? Ice Punch gets shielded. Sableye now. Could, oh, they come in with Lantern, and they swap into a Dugong, and this is not looking good as the opponent is forced to be locked in right here as uh, Dugong is just going to have a really bad day with this Lantern matchup in the no shields, and Lantern doing a great job at overloading on energy, making sure they have a Surf ready to go for that Shadow Gligar that might want to try to come back in, and we would just have to see what Pokemon number three is as Dugong goes down. The uh, Gligar decided to come in right away, not even waiting for the Switch Clock, and Surf is going to be enough to KO. Boom! Oh, not enough right there. They will be able to spark down in the final Pokemon 
Doesn't matter. It's going to be a surrender. That is going to be a good game. Very well played. All right. Was that the final? That was the final battle right there. Short, shorter video today. Able to go 4-1 with that team. And just something that we want to take note here is the team is still consistent and strong. Um, Metacham and Sableye are still incredibly powerful. And Lantern obviously has been meta for a while. Huge congrats on pay to win 69 on hitting veteran there. Um, and, uh, and thank you for sharing these battles with us. Uh, as uh, your Metacham and Sableye investments did not go down the drain, be sure to give them a try once again, maybe with this team, maybe with other teams. There is still potential to be had with these Pokemon. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and like always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.